Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. Here we are with second chapter of microwave engineering. In this chapter, the linear beam microwave tubes we are learning with. Very first of all, we started with what exactly it makes different from the cross field microwave beam tubes here. And now the very popular two cavity cluston microwave tube working as amplifier we are covered with. For higher gain, we require the multi cavity cluston into the use. So in the previous video, we have one of the problem based on to the multi cavity cluston. Let us take another problem onto the multi cavity cluston. So here we have the problem statement given to us. The problem statement is a four cavity CW stands for continuous wave cliston amplifier having the parameters given to us. V0 is equal to 18 kilovolts. I0 is equal to 2.25 amperes. D is equal to 1 centimeter. Frequency F is equal to 10 gigahertz. V1 is equal to 10 volts RMS. Beta suffix 0 is equal to beta suffix i is equal to 1. Rho 0 is equal to 10 raised to power minus 8 coulombs per meter cube here. So here beam voltage is given to us, beam current is given to us. The gap spacing for the buncher cavity is also there. Frequency is available. The input voltage is also provided. The beam coupling coefficients for input and output cavities is also provided and the DC charge density is also available. We are asked to determine in the part A the DC electron velocity, in the part B the DC electron phase constant, part C the plasma frequency, part D the reduced plasma frequency provided R is equal to 0 0.5. Next to that the reduced plasma phase constant in the part F we require the transit time across the input gap and lastly the electron velocity leaving the input gap. So let us solve for part A. So for part A we require the DC electron velocity. The DC electron velocity for part A can be denoted by V sub x 0 and we have the formula to determine it that is 0 0.593 into 10 raised to power 6 into square root of capital V0. Capital V0 is the DC potential applied to the terminals of multi cavity cliston. Here we have four cavity cliston. So V0 we have the value that is 18 kilovolts. Therefore the next step for small V0 will be equal to 0 0.593 into 10 to power 6 into square root of 18 into 10 raised to power 3 it will be. So the calculation on to the right hand side produces the answer for the DC electron velocity that is equal to 79.5592 into 10 to the power 6. Velocity always measured in terms of meter per second into the SI system. So I outline this answer. And this way we are covered with part A for the problem number 2 on multi cavity cliston. So now we are available with the answer for DC electron velocity. By the next step we need to determine the DC electron phase constant. So let us solve this. So now the DC electron phase constant in the part B is given as we write for part B representation by beta sub x e and it is actually the ratio of angular frequency omega to that of the DC electron velocity V0. So DC electron velocity just now we have determined as the part A answer. So omega we substitute as 2 pi f the frequency 10 gigahertz is provided. So it will be divided by the answer of part A. So we substitute the values 2 pi into 10 into 10 to the power 9 or the conversion of giga divided by the answer from part A it will be 79.5592 into 10 to the power 6. So this gives us the beta suffix E value is equal to 7.8974 into 10 to the power 2 radians per meter. 
सो दिस इज द डी सी इलेक्ट्रॉन फेज कॉन्स्टेंट बीटा सफिक सी सो दिस बिकम्स द एंसर फॉर पार्ट बी हियर नाउ आफ्टर डी सी इलेक्ट्रॉन वेलासिटी वी आर कवर्ड विद डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ डी सी इलेक्ट्रॉन फेज कॉन्स्टेंट नेक्स्ट टू दैट द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी इज टू बी मेड फॉर द फोर कैविटी क्लस्ट्रॉन एम्पलीफायर विद द प्रोवाइडेड स्पेसिफिकेशंस सो फॉर प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी वी रिप्रेजेंट बाई ओमेगा सफिक्स पी हेंस इन द पार्ट सी वी राइट ओमेगा सफिक्स पी एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट वी हैव कवर्ड इन टू द प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर मल्टी कैविटी क्लिस्ट्रॉन दैट इट इज ई इन टू रो सफिक्स जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई एम इन टू एप्सिलॉन जीरो सो हियर इन टू दी आर एच एस वी मेक ई बाय एम रेशो टूगेदर द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक चार्ज डिवाइडेड बाय मास ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन द कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट इन टू रो जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय एप्सिलॉन जीरो हियर देयर फर इट बिकम्स स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ द ई बाय एम वैल्यू दैट इज वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव नाइन इन टू टेन रेस्ट पावर एलेवन इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू द रो जीरो वैल्यू दैट इज द चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ डी सी इलेक्ट्रॉन इट विल बी टेन रेस्ट पावर माइनस एट एज पर गिवन स्टेटमेंट एंड दिस इज डिवाइडेड बाय एप्सिलॉन जीरो दैट इज एट पॉइंट एट फाइव फोर इन टू टेन रेस्ट पावर माइनस ट्वेल्व ईयर सो फाइनली वी राइट द प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी ओमेगा सफिक्स पी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट फोर वन इन टू टेन रेस्ट पावर सेवन द प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी इज ऑलवेज मेजर इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेडियंस पर सेकेंड सो वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड दैट यूनिट एंड वी आउटलाइन दिस आंसर सो दिस वे इन टू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट नंबर टू फॉर मल्टी कैविटी क्लिस्टॉन प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी इज ऑल्सो डिटरमाइंड इन द पार्ट डी वी रिक्वायर टू डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ रिड्यूज प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द रिड्यूज प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी वी आर प्रोवाइडेड द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल आर टू बी इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव हियर सो आफ्टर प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी लेटेस्ट डिटरमाइन द रिड्यूज प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी रिड्यूज प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर पार्ट डी कैन बी डिनोटेड बाय ओमेगा सफिक्स क्यू द प्लाज्मा फ्रिक्वेंसी दैट वी हैव डिटरमाइंड इज ओमेगा सफिक्स पी एंड द रिडक्शन फैक्टर आर दैट इज इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन टू दिस हेंस वी सब्सटीट्यूट आर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फ्रॉम द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन टू द प्रीवियस एंसर ऑफ पार्ट सी सो हियर इट विल बी वन पॉइंट फोर वन इन टू टेन रेस्ट पावर सेवन रेडियंस पर सेकेंड hence finally the reduced plasma frequency it will be 0.705 into 10 raised to power 7 radians per second here reduce plasma frequency denoted by omega q here we outline this answer now after determination of reduced plasma frequency we are required to find out the answer for part e in the part e we are required to calculate reduced plasma phase constant so let us determine that value now for plasma phase constant we used to denote beta suffix e here for reduced plasma we denote it for part e by beta suffix q here and the determination of beta suffix q will be with the help of reduced plasma frequency so that is omega suffix q that just now we have determined into the previous portion divided by it will be the electron velocity here v0 so by the next step we substitute the answer for reduced plasma frequency 0.705 into 10 to the power 7 it is divided by 0.7955 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second therefore the beta suffix q it will become 0.0886 here so for beta sub x q it is the phase change with respect to this phase here it will be radians per meter here we outline this value also we get back to the problem statement so this way from part a up to part e we have all the answers computed now in the part f we require the answer for transit time across the input gap 
Now, for part F, we require transit time. Transit time is actually the time taken by the charge carrier to travel from one place to another place that generally we denote by the symbol tau here. So, for part F, the transit time across the gap we put by tau and as the gap spacing is small d, the distance covered upon the velocity, so d divided by the velocity of electron will be v0. The gap spacing as per the problem statement, we can put 1 centimeter is equal to 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meters divided by the velocity that we have determined in the part A, that is 79.5592 into 10 to the power 6 meters per second. So this shall gives us the transit time in terms of seconds. So this will become 0 0.1256 into 10 to the power minus 9. We put seconds as the unit here. 10 to the power minus 9 can be represented in terms of nano. So finally, the transit time tau, we put 0 0.1256 nano second here. This answer is to be outlined. This is the answer for transit time. So in the problems number 2 for the multi cavity cluster from A to F we have determined all the values. The last value is for determination of electron velocity leaving the input gap. So earlier the velocity it was denoted by V0. Let us determine the new velocity here in terms of meters per second. While the electron leaves the input gap spacing the gap spacing denoted by small d, we can denote the velocity that is v provided the time moment is t1 here. We consider that at the time moment t0, the electron enters the gap spacing whereas at time moment t1, it leaves the gap spacing. Hence, hence according to the equation of velocity modulation, we can write v of t1 is equal to v0 in the multiplication to the square bracket that has first term 1 added with beta suffix i into capital V1 divided by twice capital V0 into sine of here omega tau here. Now we can so make the substitution of values here. So to the right hand side we have V0 the answer from part A that is 79.5592 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. In the square bracket, here we have 1 added with the beam coupling coefficient beta suffix i is provided to us that is having the value 1 into v1 it is that is equal to 10 in RMS divided by it will be twice into the beam potential here that is v0 it is 18 kilovolts so 18 into 10 to the power 3 we put here into sine of omega tau here so for omega we write 2 pi into f into tau we put as it is so by the next step i make v of t1 is equal to 79.5592 9 into 10 to the power 6 in bracket 1 plus 10 divided by 36 into 10 to the power 3 into sine of here it will be 2 pi into the frequency is 10 gigahertz so 10 into 10 to the power 10 it will be into the tau value that we have determined 1.256 into 10 to the power minus 10 here. So this completes the bracket. Therefore, by the next step, we simplify it. The velocity as the electron leaves the input gap. So it will be 0 0.7955 into 10 to the power 8 added with 2.2084 into 10 to the power 4. Next time, we can write it as 79 Phi u phi u 0, 0, 0, 0. So 10 to the power 8 we observe inside plus this we can write 22084. The addition will be simply 
5 7 it will be 2084 in terms of meter plus second or we can write 0 0.79 5 7 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second therefore we can say that the moment electron leaves the gap spacing the velocity attained by that particular electron will be equal to 0 0.79 pi u 7 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So this way we are covered with determination of all the values with respect to part A to part G for a multi-cavity cliston. Here the example was taken for the number of cavities to be 4 here. I hope you have understood this particular problem and it will definitely benefit for your knowledge with respect to microwave engineering. By the next lecture, we shall be having a simple derivation with respect to the output power concerning the multi-cavity cliston and based on to that, we shall be having the next multi-cavity cliston problem number 3. So for more information, you can subscribe to EKIDA channel. Thank you.